Hello friends, now we will see the free emphasis and the de-emphasis. In the earlier section, we have studied that the FM view have higher noise effect, particularly in case of higher modulating frequency. This effect can be reduced by increasing the value of the modulation index for higher modulating frequency. And this can be done by increasing the deviation del. As we have seen, the modulation index m of f equal to, here we know m of f equal to del by fm. Okay. So either you decrease the frequency to increase the modulation index or increasing the value of the del. So out of that, we'll try to increase the value of the del, that is frequency deviation. And this can be achieved by increasing the amplitude of the modulating signal at higher modulating frequencies. Now, how it can be done? It can be done that artificial boosting to the amplitude of the modulating signal at higher modulating frequencies it is carried out so it is called a pre-emphasizing filter so pre-emphasizing filter basically it is a high pass filter so higher frequency will be allowed to pass through that and it is coupled, coupled to the FM modulator so pre-emphasize output that artificial boosting of higher modulating frequency amplitude particularly takes place it is always at the rate of 2122 hertz that is the rc time constant actually i am uh, indicating here that uh, rc time constant value and uh, 6 db per octave it is nothing but the attenuation slope now at the receiving it exactly the opposite procedure is carried out that whatever the artificial boosting of the amplitude of higher modulating frequency the effect should be nullified at the receiving end so fm modulated signal is coupled to the fm demodulator after that the de-emphasis process it is starts it is with the help of the low pass filter so finally we will recover the modulating signal and the rate at which the de-emphasis is taking place it is taking place at the same cutoff frequency as that was at the transmission side so here means during that transmission and the reception process artificial boosting of that modulation modulating signal amplitude at higher modulating frequency it takes place and at the receiving end the effect it is being minimized so this will indirectly improve the modulation index so as modulation index obviously lesser will be the effect of that noise on the modulated wave. This is all about the pre-emphasis and the de-emphasis. Thank you for watching.